Coach, what's up? Hope your day is going great. My name is Sean. and I'm a success coach who specializes in aquatic sports for the company Making Money Coaching Sports, where it's our mission to work with you to make coaching your only job. I'm here to serve the aquatics community, be it swimming clubs, learn to swim programs, water polo clubs, artistic swimming, and any private trainers who want to specialize in aquatic sports. It's time to make money coaching sports, so let's dive in. Hey coach, what's going on? Here to talk about fundraising. You say fundraising. Well, I put it there not for you, for a reason, okay? So we start out with fundraising. You never want to start out just fundraising to fundraise for your club, okay? You need to set a standard of being bigger than yourself, and I put that in there. Why not for you? So you need to be doing something that brings together your community, that sets a standard that you are not raising money for the club, but you are making, raising money for something bigger than yourself. So setting it up yearly, the same one each year so that parents get prepared and there's an anticipation that is coming up so they can prepare and ha they'll have ideas. Um, people always want to submit their ideas for fundraising things. And then at some point you're kind of hands off and you're just being there and your parents are running the fundraiser activity and you're just being the guy or the girl that's there shaking hands and pushing people to really try to raise more money. And then you can post about it and you get great goodwill. And plus, it's just a nice thing to do, right? It's just a good thing to do as a human is to give money to organizations that need it most. A couple big things that I really focus on for our stuff and see as I have a, a, a very not so awesome mustache, I get to shave the rest of my face. It's called Movember. So what you do is you grow it a mustache and you basically post it on the internet with a, you know, people dig in your mustache. And I've done it for about 10 years now. A very passionate project for me is Movember because it's something I can do. I can grow out a mustache. It's not super awesome, but I can do it. And it raises money for prostate cancer. So prostate cancer has hit home hard with me and my family in terms of my uncle and a couple other people in my family dealing with prostate cancer and friends and family. And it's just something that they don't highlight enough um, for men. You know, men, you know, breast cancer awareness is also a huge one. You can get pink caps for that one. You can get pink shirts. It's a real easy one to help raise money. Tons of organizations you can give money to. But this is not a knock on breast care, aware breast care awareness. But the there's no, like, same amount for um, prostate care uh, cancer awareness. So my push is try to get the same amount of awareness out there. And so that's something I highly recommend. I want everyone who can grow a mustache. You don't have to be able to grow a mustache to do prostate cancer awareness. You can be a Mo sister or a Mo bro. So when you then, once you've built this, like, hey, we do this every year, then you can kind of tack on a fundraiser for your own club, right? Because you've built the goodwill. You've built up the idea of this is how we do things. And some super easy ones just threw these out there. Swimathon, right? You get the kids to get their money from parents and grandparents and they swim. I'll swim 20 laps and you give me a dollar for each lap that I swim. Um, special t shirts, you just up the price five, ten dollars. You can raise some money for some specialty t shirts. You can partner with a local place. My, you know, kids have this thing where, like, hey, if you come to, you know, this fast food restaurant, 20% goes back into this, you know, the PTA. Um, look at that. A shootathon is something you can do for water polo. You can do run drills and skills and take, you know, stats and how many goals they score and you give a dollar per goal score or when they scrimmage or anything like that. Those are easy ones, right? Simple ones. Hard ones that I've seen that work really well too is because people love golf. Is golf tournaments work really well, but you got to work really hard at organizing that. And straight up just asking for money is super hard. Um, if you're a 501c3 nonprofit, you can just ask for money and try to find ways to basically get them to donate money to you because you are a tax-free entity, 501c3, and you can give them your EIN number and a receipt, and they can have that as tax-deductible stuff. So helps them out if they need to lower their tax liability. Um, any questions on any of that stuff, 
um, how to lower your tax liability in general as a club and set all those things up, you can text me with the description below. Uh, just trying to throw some fundraising ideas out there for you and make it so that it's easier for you to build a sense of community within your club, within your swim program, and make it easier for everybody. Hope everyone has a great day. See you later.